So in this video, we are going to talk about chalk.js. So chalk is going to give us a lot of um, basically colors and different fonts and background in console.log. So in a normal JavaScript file, whenever you do console log, you see everything in a terminal and uh, with the same color and the same font and everything is the same. And sometimes it's not easy to debug or to just follow the logs. So one of the way you can just fix that one is to use chalk.js. But before going there, let's just have a look at this very basic uh, code here. So I'm going to compile the TarkScript file and then run, run it immediately. So let's have a look what's happening. So basically our log starts from here and then we type something and then we finish. But as you can see, we are not really, imagine if we have a lot of logs and it's not easy to follow them. So one way to do that is Going to, we're going to use chalk.js to fix this issue. So let's just quickly install chalk. Once we install this one, because we're using TypeScript, so I can import it on top of the page. So we're going to say chalk, good. And now we can use it everywhere we want. And in order to use it, you can use it in a console.log by just typing chalk. So if you want this one to be red, for example, or green or blue, you can just choose. So we're going to use blue in this case. And uh, here we can do something like, again, chalk dot, for example, bold. So we're going to change the font bold and at the end we can say chalk dot bg green for example and then see okay now that we have everything let's just run the code one more time now we should have a different result so as you can see it was blue this is bold and this is uh, with the background green so now we can have even like, so for example here, we can also have different things. So I'm going to do the console.log, uh, sorry, console.log, and then chalk dot yellow, and then wow. And then also we can continue, for example, with something else. Dot, I don't know, let's say green and then um, something else. It's cool, for example. So now if we just run the code one more time. So there we go, we have everything we wanted. So if you go to the chalk uh, package in NPM, you can see it has been downloaded quite a lot. So it is well used in a community and a lot of people probably and a lot of projects are using it. And then the other thing is you can have different way of using the chalk. So you can have a bold div, italic underline, and a lot of colors and a lot of backgrounds. And, uh, and I suggest this one if you're using, or if you're logging a lot of stuff in, uh, in your applications. And basically we use it in this way because we are using TypeScript, but if you're going to use uh, JavaScript, it's pretty much the same instead of, instead of uh, basically using import uh, chalk from the chalk, you can basically say uh, chalk one required chalk. I mean, this is just a uh, compiled version. So if you were going to, if you were using JavaScript, it was simple. Sorry, if, if you're using like a vanilla JavaScript, it was something like that. So if you're using vanilla JavaScript, and then this line was helping you. And if, because we're using TypeScript in this example, we, we just compile it and then at the end it will give us this line of code. 
anyway so the, the whole idea is to give you more readable console log or logging in your uh, application so I'm thinking to create a lot of videos around this NPM packages in the future so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe or like the video if you enjoyed this video